this is Stampy, and welcome back to my Let's Play of King's Quest. Uh, we are still in a chapter number three, Once Upon a Climb. Yes, I know, haha. Ha. For once, you can't have a go at me, because it wasn't my pun, it was uh, it was in the game. <laughs> Alright then, so, if you haven't seen the last few episodes, definitely go and watch it, because otherwise you're going to be very confused as to, to what's going on. To be honest, I played through the last episodes, and I'm still a little bit confused. Actually, I think I... I generally understand what's going on, but I'm just not quite sure what I'm supposed to do now. So basically, the situation is: can I go back upstairs? So both of the, uh, both the pri- oh, okay. I'm looking at the painting again. So this shows me what I used to look like when I was younger. When I stare inside of here, and oh, oh, that's Manny. Okay. <gasps> Manny's a goblin. No way. I told you no detail would be overlooked. Underneath Manny's mask was a face of a goblin. No yes, way! Yes. No way! <laughs> okay, so that's explained a lot. So if you remember, I know it was a while ago, but at the end of chapter two, there was that man who left the goblin cave. And, you know, he took his helmet off and he was dressed like a goblin, but he was a man. And then Manny showed up. And he was like, ah, you need a friend, or something along those lines, wasn't he? So, Manny must have, have, have had, like, had been switched places with that other man. No way! <laughs> I didn't expect that. I don't know why. Because he's all short and he's, he's very goblin-like. So I don't know why I didn't expect that. But I didn't. Okay, well, it's kind of hard to, to get back to, to what I'm doing at the moment. Because all I can think about is, is that, to be honest. But let, let's go see if we can speak to them. Because uh, i got a blanket. Uh, I got a warm blanket uh, from uh, from Acorn in the last episode uh, for the, the bed and all. Looks like the bed's flapped up for now. Let's see if there's anything else I can say to them. Uh, how's it going? My favourite puzzle box is broken. I'm not sure how to fix it yet. Want me to try to fix it? I'll get it. Okay, looks like there's nothing new uh, that I can uh, I can do in order to, to help them. So basically what, what happens is I'm in this moving tower and I can teleport briefly to other places as long as I own something from that place. So for example, I have a, a bunch of leaflets uh, of these uh, these different people and I can throw them down in order to um uh, yeah, to teleport. Actually, can I can I hold up the pictures of the different people up here as well? I can. Oh, I wish I had the Hobblepots one still. I'd love to know what they look like young. I mean, oh, <laughs> oh dear, wow, that's, uh, she went through quite the, uh, the transformation when she grew up. <laughs> uh, let's try Bramble. See what Bramble looked like. So, uh, this is what she looks like now, and she used to look like this. Whoa! She used to be a bit of a punk. She went through, uh, she kind of went through, uh, the opposite, uh, transformation, uh, uh, that, uh, Amaya did. Uh, I kind of wish I had the Hobblepots one, because they're, they're the really old, well, I had Chester's picture. And I can't him imagine him being anything other than what he looks like now. So <laughs> uh, I kind of regret not holding that up. But oh well, it doesn't matter. Let's go and uh, throw down one of these again. And uh, oh, is it not going to let me? Oh, uh, okay. It's, it's not letting me teleport to anywhere else. So I've got the blanket, but I can't I can't go. So last time I just threw it into there and it was able to, to take me somewhere. But now it's not it's not letting me do anything. Uh, maybe, maybe I can only use it once a day, or do I need to change the time or something? I'm not entirely sure. Let's, uh, let's try and work out what's going on. Because the other thing is, so there was, I opened up this doorway, then there's this clock as well here. And I can change the time on it, but there's only one hand. And I can press the button, but he says about that there's a piece missing, which I think's the, uh, the small hand. That seemed to be missing a piece. So I don't know if there's anything else I can do with that. So let's go upstairs then. So... It seemed like because um, Nice said about that she needed a tool and uh, it looked like V needed to know how to fix it. And all I've got is a blanket. Shall I, can I, shall I offer them the blanket? Will that help at all? You looked a little chilly. <sighs> it is a bit chilly in here. Thank you. That was sweet. I ended up fixing this puzzle box. Want to try it? I would love to. Here, you take side one. Ah, okay. She's fixed it. Mm. Right. Um... What what was the deal then? So there's this star here. What do I do? So I can choose to slide by pressing these. Okay. Um, 
I, 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 are we trying to get this? Oh, I think we're trying to get this block out that opening there by the looks of things. That's not... Ah, okay. So uh, I think I'm moving these uh, these darker blocks and then she's moving the lighter ones by the looks of things. And then, so I need I need to move... I, want, I need to move that down, don't I really? But I think she has to move that one. So there we go. Now I can move it across. And there we go. We got we did it. it. We, we work as a pretty good team, I must say. <laughs> it's like, can I help Nice as well now? Or was that like my decision to help V? Because I kind of just happened to, to go to her first. To help me sleep. How about something with a bow and some strings? Who said violins? Doesn't solve anything. <laughs> I was slightly disappointed there was no mention of me that night. Grandpa, boys aren't the only things the girls talk about? <laughs> I learned that lesson long ago. I don't even have the blanket anymore. He's got it. <laughs> okay, so I guess she kind of just worked out the other uh, puzzle by herself. It uh, looks like it's now morning, so the uh, the tower's going to just settle down in its uh, its new home. And uh, I wonder where it's heading to. Oh, someone's at the door. Just a moment. Be there in a jiffy. Agatha, it's been forever. You're looking. <laughs> Hagatha, so nice to see you. Malden, your English is coming along superbly. Well, thanks for noticing. Glad to join me for a spot of tea. <laughs> now, Hagatha, I know better than to set foot inside this tower, but I do appreciate the invitation. You never know. You might like it better in the air. The view is quite nice, and if it ever rains, we move. I grew up in a cave, so I'm fine with a small, cold room with a view of rubble. Speaking of small and cold, please tell him to be careful with this. The message will be received. I'm serious, Maldon. I've spent my life coated in a thin layer of cosmolotion. It's a potion. It's not a panacea. Duly noted. Oh, I almost forgot. He wanted to return this book he borrowed. Said he doesn't need it anymore. Ah, yes. How to tame your dragon. Did you ever find old Dwoggle? It'll return when it's tired of feeding off werebears and lost travelers. A balanced breakfast indeed. Ha! Good day, Morden. It's always a pleasure. The pleasure has been mine. Fare thee well, Hagatha. Morden? Hagatha that? invited us all to her pretty princess ball. I was nervous and excited. Tonight we shall have our pretty princess ball. It will be everything we've always dreamed of. Okay. I, I, I don't know if we're actually dancing or whether she's using a spell in order to make us dance. Okay, looks like we have a, a bit of a, a rhythm game. I feel like she's going to keep getting quicker and quicker and quicker. Right, let's keep dancing. So who is that Morden person? So he got a potion. Uh, and I, I have a feeling that that might have been for Manny. Do you think that that's maybe a, um, maybe a potion that makes him look human or something? I don't know, maybe. So I don't think, did I ever see his face? I can't even remember if I ever saw his face or not, to be honest. Um, yeah, I, th I, th I did, didn't I? Or did he always have the helmet on? I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, I reckon that po that potion was for Manny. That because because remember the um the witch uh, Hagatha, she had a bunch of potions to try and choose what she looks like, but um yeah, she kind of used too much, which is why she ended up looking like she is. So yeah, that's uh that's another character to wonder about. He also said about how he grew up in a cave. And who else grew up in caves? Goblins, of course. So I wonder whether whether Morden was a goblin or lived with the goblins or has some relation to them. I don't know. Once again, this game is setting up a whole load of, of questions uh, that we are going to need some answers to. And oh no, I did it wrong. I wasn't graceful. <laughs> but is this, is, this, is this what the ball is? We stand here like this and then we just dance when she tells us to dance <laughs> what is going on like this is so weird like, to anyone who hadn't played this game up until this point 
Like, what What would they think just seeing the game as it is now and having no idea, like, what led up to this point? It's just so weird. It's just such a weird situation. Um, is there something else I'm supposed to be doing? I'm kind of just... I'm kind of just pressing the buttons as they as they come up, to be honest. I don't know if I should be paying more attention. So I press X when she does that. Are we supposed to do it in, like, sequence then? So then arms up. So now it's triangle, I think. Yeah, triangle is his arms up. Okay, I'm starting to learn what the buttons do. That's not a princess move. It's turn, turn, twist. Not twist, turn, turn. Um, okay. So what, what am I supposed to do now? Can I, okay. Twist, turn, turn, and then Mexican wave. Woohoo! <laughs> I don't think that was quite Actually, right. Thanks to you. Oh, what a glorious evening. Oh, thank you, ladies, for a wonderful ball. I wish it would never end. Perhaps it shouldn't. It was at that moment, Hagatha realized she had everything she wanted inside the tower. Her happy ending was right in front of her. She would freeze time to keep that moment forever. I wonder if I could make a large enough batch of fruits tonic. Oh, this doesn't sound good. If she freezes time, then I'm stuck in that tower forever. You and well, that wouldn't be much fun, would it? So sweet. Oh, shh. Hush up. That night, my nervous anxiety turned to happy butterflies. I went to bed with a smile on my face. Oh, okay, it looks like he's getting a bit closer to V. And she sent me on a special mission. Princess Grail, the time has come. I have a very special mission for you. This magic won't last long. But I need you to bring me back the keys of harmony. Your spell will teleport you back here once you've picked it up. I need to make sure I can trust you. Oh, I don't know if she meant to do that. You know, Grandpa, I think you told me this part. Are you sure you're not getting the stories mixed up again? Sadly, this is not a senior moment, I'm afraid. Ah! It's all making sense. You remember in chapter one? So that this isn't the goblin cave, I don't think. This is, you know, down the well. So remember the very beginning of chapter one. I know it was literally forever ago, but if you remember, I went down the well and I was trying to get the magic mirror for the king. And there was the dragon here. And then I found this place and it was full of beds for some reason. And there was a little house down here. That must be where Morden lives. Is that what you reckon? That's what I reckon. Because this is where he got the book from. Or oh, is this where Manny lives? I'm not entirely sure, but I remember this place. Oh, okay. So there's all of these random moments that I, well, that I thought were random and didn't mean anything. But it's all starting to make a bunch of sense now. Right, let's have a look around here, shall we? Those potions smell pungent and acidic, but... <laughs> Hmm, oddly familiar. Okay, so it looks like there's like a mixing pot here in case I want to make some potions. Oh, uh, what else? Is this some like painting supplies? Huh. Someone fancied himself quite the storyteller. Okay, and then these are a bunch of books by the looks of things. The book collection had grown over the years. The sorcery of old looked like a new edition. Okay, and then what have we got down here? So we've got the bed, of course. And then, yeah, let's have a look at that. Oh, have a jump on it. Oh, oh have a lie down. Oh, this is, what the, this is what I did to hide from the dragon, isn't it? I hid under the, the bed sheets. There's no dragon anymore, so it looks, like, it looks like they were trying to tame the dragon. It looks like they have achieved taming the dragon by the sounds of things, seeing as they didn't need the book anymore. Uh, what's all of these things? What a comfortable bed. That helmet sounds familiar. As it should. Ah, so that's the helmet. That the uh, the goblins wear. Well, do, was that Mo Do you think that was Mordon? You know that. You know at the end of the last chapter. I can't remember what he looked like. That guy who got out. Maybe that's Mordon. 
I don't know. I don't know who Mordon is. I can't pick this wow. helmet up by the other looks of things, though. It looks like someone was sleeping in the bed, and then a goblin was sleeping down there. The room seemed lonelier without the loud rumbling of a certain dragon's snore. I hope that beast was enjoying his freedom. Because you got to remember as well, the only reason the dragon is alive is because of me. Because I could have killed the dragon, but I decided not to, and so the dragon's roaming free. So hopefully I'm not gonna end up regretting that decision now. Try to stand up straighter. And then I hid again. Okay, in the bed, in the bed, in the bed, in the bed, in the bed. Quick, quick, quick! That is Manny. I thought it. Is. Okay, do you reckon this is gonna be Manny and Morden talking? It'll take all night to prepare. Must we go through with this? After gazing upon Hagatha's face, I question the validity of that elixir. Hagatha's enchantments are stunted by the towers she locked them away in. Out here, with a little air, this sorcery can reach its full potential. We'll have to let this sit overnight. For now, we sleep. Uh-oh. I want to voice my concerns again, brother. You, of all people, should know what it's like to wear a mask all your life. A scarf that obscures your vision. A helmet that hides your face. This body has taken my mind as far as it can go. Now, good night. Please snuff the torch. Our parents were wrong to hide you from the world, but at least they didn't forget about you. No, instead they fed you, they read to you, they raised you as their own. I was a whipping boy for 16 years. For what? A stupid goblin prank? Watch your tongue, brother. You're beginning to sound like a human. A silly goblin took you in from the coal. A dull goblin taught you to read, and a stupid goblin gave you a second chance at life. Please forgive me. I misspoke. Am I wrong to believe that the mind is what should matter? Is my trust in brains over brawn misplaced? I've dedicated my life to prove that, given the right resources, our species is capable of higher thought and that even a silly little goblin can lead this kingdom. That's the change I want to inspire. That's the progress Daventry needs. Oh, you're right as always. And the Cosmolotion is the only way around your banishment from King Graham. King Graham? King Graham was a fluke. We'd already be at the castle toasting to our divine intellect if it wasn't for that bumbling, red-nosed, feathered half-wit. Did I ever tell you he asked what my availability for sleepovers was? More. Hey, I am not a fluke. He gets. Did you really just say that? Well, don't just stand there. Grab him. Well, that's explained a lot. So I know that I know what's going on with them. Just stay right there. Don't move. Glenlin and I are working on your surprise. I won't peek. I can't wait to see what it is. Oh, Gwendolyn, your lunch is ready, and your cousin is waiting. Thanks, Grandma. Love. Have you been taking all your medicines? Well, I'm not sure what good they're doing. I'm still stuck in this bed. Yes, you are. You're still here. Ah, oh, you know what I meant. It's just that I'm going stir-crazy in here, and I don't even want to think about all the addendums that still need approvals. Everything is taken care of. But you need to rest before you feel better. I'll rest after your birthday. I still have to prep your special batch of chocolate chip pancakes. Oh, you have baked those pancakes for my birthday for as long as I can remember. And I've truly savored each and every bite, dear, but 
maybe this is the year to teach the children your recipe. And you just enjoy eating breakfast with me. Nothing is going to stop me from baking those pancakes. Not even this broken arm. Well, you won't get any further argument from me. Now, can you please take your medicines? They'll make you feel better on your next inspiring adventure. All right, fine. I'll take them. And I love you. You have always. Oh, had a caring soul or a thoughtful soul? You always seem to know what I'm thinking before I do. I love you too, dear. That was sweet. But who is it? I Who's that, that in the door frame? We don't know. Ingredients he needed to make a large batch of freeze tonic. Of course, we didn't know that's what it was for, so we did what we were told, just like good princesses. Princess Graham, I think you've earned the privilege of a trip outside the tower. Yes, you and um, Princess Niece will go. I'll bring me back the golden acorn and don't dilly-dally. This magic will only work for a limited time. <sighs> okay, off we go. Princess Graham and niece heading off together. Every time she says Princess Graham, it just makes me chuckle. <laughs> well, there's been a, a lot of de developments recently. We're finding quite a lot out. And it looks like we need a gold acorn, and we need to, to work together to find it. It looks to me like the middle of the Avalon Forest. Huh. Why does that name seem so familiar? I've seen postcards. My older sister's camp here once. Well, let's go find that acorn. Well, not acorn acorn, but an acorn. Which way should we head? Are we... Are we... Are we having an adventure? Oh, are we going to solve riddles of a sphinx? Is there going to be a labyrinth with a minotaur? Will there be hijinks and will they involve bridles and snakes? Can we get matching feathers? <laughs> Please? <laughs> yes to everything. Although you really should work on that. Now, which way? West. I'm sure of it. West always sounds like an adventure. <laughs> Okay, I'm starting to now see a lot more similarities between uh, Graham and Nice because those crazy episodes are something that Graham does a lot. And if you remember, one of the first things I did in King's Quest was fall down a massive hill and bang into things on the way down. <laughs> like, it's weird because, like, when I'm, like, picking between them or, like, trying to decide what to do, like, I'm always, like, I'm thinking about, you know, what does Graham want? You know, I'm not thinking about me. I'm thinking, like, you know, who's best suited for Graham? And, I don't know, like, there's qualities of both of them. And, you know, it's hard to, to, to know, like, who, um, you know, you know who's who's best for him, really. Uh, because the quirky side of Nice suits Graham. But also, you know, Graham's quite logical. You know, the whole time we're playing as him, we're pretty much solving puzzles. You know, which is kind of V's thing. So... It's very difficult to, to know, you know, who would be the uh, the best princess for him. So, yeah, I still haven't made a decision. I guess we're going to uh, keep uh, making decisions and changing our mind throughout the uh, uh, the entire game. Looks like I've collected some fawns and uh, looks like Nice broke my fall. <laughs> Uh-oh, this isn't good. Oh, where'd I get that from? Don't shoot. It feels threatened. Graham, don't. I have to. Hold your fire! This wolf is going to make I'm a mincemeat pie out of us. But it's so I'm not gonna shoot. I'm gonna shoot into the trees. Okay, I can't shoot into the trees. I'm just gonna not shoot it. Maybe it's a friendly wolf. Please be a friendly wolf. Kitty? Kitty? It's a wolf. <laughs> oh, is she, is she gonna be able to calm it down? That's not a good idea. Do you think she can? Do you reckon she's really good with animals? It hasn't attacked her yet. Uh -huh. It's got a really small head. Ah, so. <laughs> oh, it's been hurt. Oh, there you go. That should feel better. She saved it. 
And I didn't need to shoot. I knew I shouldn't have shot then. Well, I hoped I shouldn't have shot then, and it worked Good out okay. I didn't shoot. I'm very glad you didn't. Shall we continue our adventure? Most certainly. Now, how are we going to get across this? We could make a slingshot out of a rubber tree plant and launch ourselves across. No. Too obvious. Too bad Avalon doesn't have a bridge troll guild. Wait, right here. I got it. Oh, looks like I don't even need to solve the problem. Looks like Nisa's going to solve it for me. And she's got a giant a cheek. Log. Uh, how's this going to get us across? Well, it's just a start. I figured we could have some fun. And now it's your turn. Uh, my turn? Yes. Go into the woods and grab an object, but just one. When you return, add it to our creative project. Then I'll go again. Oh, maybe we could whittle a zipline or carve a giant slide. All right, my turn. Okay, what looks like I need to, to go and uh, grab something to, to add to our creative project. And oh, looks like there's a, a wide selection of things to, to grab here. Ah, this is so difficult because every time I think that like V's the one for me and then like niece has now been like, you know, she saved the wolf and you know, she was really similar to me. It's very difficult to know what we are. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, well, what to, to do. But uh, sadly, uh, we have just about uh, run out of timer in this episode here. So I am going to pick one of these items to take back. Oh, I could be all romantic and take the rose. I could maybe take these uh, these big loaves of bread. There's also looks like there's a, a nice woolen stocking on the uh, the back there. So I haven't decided yet, uh, but I will decide soon. Maybe a say no to wolf sign could be quite funny. <laughs> Hamsters for for president, or squirrels for for president. Ah oh dear. Anyway. So yeah, I'm going to make my decision in the other uh, next episode, and there's going to be a link to that episode in the other uh, description down below. Uh, but for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!